And Mark Burley of the Marlins joins us now, the brave soul who uh, volunteered. Burles, thanks for joining us. How are you? Oh, and I volunteered for this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Short as straw? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm usually the one wearing guys out and see what the payback is. <laughs> To tell us about this roller coaster of a season that you guys have been on. I mean, a slow start in April, the best team in baseball in May, and just an awful June so far. What's that been like? Well, I think every team's going to go through struggles through the course of a year. Um, you know, best team, worst team in baseball, you're going to go through a stretch where you're going to win a bunch of games, you're going to lose a bunch of games. So just got to go out there and, and come to the park every day ready to play. Um, no matter what happened the day before, if you're winning nine in a row, and, and you get, still got to come to the park ready to play. So. Um, these guys are coming prepared, and we're, we're coming out to try to try to win every game we can. Sometimes it's not going to happen. Now, Mark Burley, you've been around Ozzie Guillen, certainly playing in Chicago. What's he been like during this stretch, and is it the same Ozzie that you saw with the White Sox? Yeah, I think so. I, mean, I think it's, again, he, he knows that you're going to go through good stretches and bad stretches. Uh, you're going to have good pitching. You're going to have bad hitting. You're gonna, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a long season. I mean, that's why we go out there and play these games. So. Uh, I mean, he's been the same. He's had a meeting the other day. Just you know, obviously we're losing a bunch of games right now, and I said, hey, let's go out there and have fun. If, if we're trying and we're having fun and we lose games, it's going to happen. Let's at least have fun. Uh, you know, the last couple games we've been down, everybody's kind of struggling, and uh, no one's having fun. So he said, let's at least have fun and go out there and try to play the game and try to win. Infield is back. The one-one. It just missed. Well, Mark, for you, 12 seasons with the White Sox in the American League. You come over to the National League. What has been the big difference that you've seen getting acclimated to the new league? Um, I mean, it took a little bit to get used to these guys. Obviously, being in one league and uh, you know same team for so long. Uh, it, you know, coming into spring training, to get, trying to get to know everybody, uh, clubhouse guys. I mean, minor league coaches, pretty much everybody from the bottom uh, to the top. You had to get used to uh, you know get get used to knowing. So. Uh, that was the biggest biggest change for me. But once I got here, you know, first couple weeks and, and got to know everybody, uh, you know, I felt like this is home. And these guys are great. Um, I love pitching in the National League. Uh, getting that pitcher every once in a while instead of the DH, that definitely helps. Now, we saw one hitter last night. We've been talking about no hitters with Anibal Sanchez, who has thrown one and three one hitters. Mark, take us back to that ball game against the Rays. July 20th, 2009, Dwayne Wise making that terrific catch. And then Jason Bartlett bouncing out for that final out of your perfect game. Yeah, it was uh, obviously that was a great game. Uh, I still go back to that pitch I made on, on Kapler, that, the one that the, the Wise catch. Uh, I said I could throw that every time. And uh, guys should ground out. And then the, the last out of the game to Bartlett, that was a hanging changeup, and he ground out to short. So it just shows you like, kind of how crazy this game is. You make a good pitch, and uh, you know the guy shouldn't hit it that good, and he, he ends up hitting it well. And, Obviously, Wise makes an unbelievable catch out there. Uh, and then the last out of the game, I threw a hanging change up, and he grounds out to short. So this game can be frustrating. It can be uh, exciting at times. So you just got to you know, – I mean, I think I'm good at that, just keep, keep, kind of keeping everything even keel and uh, good times and bad times. Just try to go out there every start and, and try to do your job. There have been 14 no-hitters thrown since 2010. There's a lot of theories as to why. Five this year that combined by Seattle and then Philip Umbers – Perfect game, Jared Weaver, Johan Santana, Matt Kane's perfect game. Any theories from you? I have no idea. <laughs> it seems like there's been what 22 perfect games in the history, and five or six of them has been the last couple years. Uh, I, I, there's, I don't know. There's nothing to nothing to point to, but uh, I mean, it's just I think it's just one of those days that you're gonna have a good day, and everything's gotta fall. You gotta have luck on your side. Um, if you see balls that land just fair, just foul. Uh, you're going to have everything going your way that day. Breaking ball misses outside. You also have a no hitter as well as the perfect game. And that puts you in some pretty nice company. Sandy Koufax, Cy Young, Randy Johnson, Jim Bunny. Mark Burley's in that list. That's pretty cool stuff. That's uh, <laughs> it's a name that probably shouldn't be in there, <laughs> especially for how I throw and uh, obviously being a contact pitcher. I'm not going to strike out a lot of guys. Fastball misses outside. Sanchez loses Desmond Jennings. And here comes Matt Joyce. Mark, you're, you're known around baseball for your quick tempo and rhythm uh, on the mound. What are your thoughts behind that and why work so quickly? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I've always just got on the mound and got the ball and thrown. I uh, don't really see a reason to, uh, you know, to walk off the mound, take your time, and just get the sign and go. Um, 
That's what kind of bothers me sometimes on, on Fox and ESPN games. They, they make the innings in, in between innings a little bit longer than most games. And they're trying to talk, uh, you know, speeding up the game of baseball and here uh, national television. They try to slow us down. So it's kind of confusing to me. But, um, you know, just get the ball and throw. Get your sign and go. I mean, there's times that before the catcher's even putting down the sign, I'm starting to go because I can kind of tell what he's going to call. Um, but I don't know. I just I've always work quick. And obviously your defense will be out defense likes it and they want to get back in the dugout and try to hit have any young pitchers asked you about that uh, I mean guys you guys will talk about it uh, you know how I do it or you know why what's your theory behind it but I I, I don't really have a theory I just that's just the way I've worked uh, as you can probably tell I like to talk quick I, I like to do everything quick I just <laughs> want to get it get in uh, get done and, and get back in the dugout that's why we invited you on. We were hoping for a one, two, three. Yeah, I was hoping this was the quickest inning that Annabelle has ever had in his life, and it ain't turning out that way. <laughs> well, well, we'll cease the shower of sunflower seeds. I know you're usually the guy throwing the stuff, so you had to take it this time. You wore it, so to speak, but uh, thanks for the visit. No problem, guys. Thank you. All right, Mark Burley.